it is officially closing day on the sale of our current home and the purchase of our new house which is incredibly exciting um it is almost two o'clock in the afternoon i just dropped jackson off at my parents house because i actually have an ob appointment today so i have to run the opposite direction go to my ob appointment hopefully it's fast because my ob appointment is at 2 45 um, and then the first closing on our current home is at four so i need to haul buns from there all the way back to where we live to do the closing on our house which is an hour drive so it's just gonna be pushing it um, and hopefully my OB appointment doesn't take very long. This is just my, what am I? Tw I'll be 25 weeks on Friday. So this is my 24 week appointment. Um, it's not an ultrasound or anything. So I just have to see the doctor, get my vitals taken. Um, she'll probably listen to the baby's heartbeat and measure my stomach and then I should be good to go. So hopefully it just doesn't take very long to see the doctor because that's always the longest part. But I need to stop for gas real quick head to my appointment but yeah it is officially closing day and then once we close we get immediate possession because the house is vacant so we're gonna head to the house my parents are gonna meet me there with Jackson um, but I figured I would do an empty house tour for you guys today and kind of give you a rundown of our plans um, we do plan on at least doing all of the painting like kills and then painting everything white ceilings and walls um, and then we are going to redo the bathroom so we're not gonna do anything crazy with the bathroom it is like a bathroom laundry room combination so we're going to pull out the tub we're gonna put in a new tub we have someone that's gonna come and tile white subway tile the walls and then I think we're gonna keep the vanity we're just gonna paint it and then we're gonna put a new vanity top on and new faucet and then I don't know if we're gonna shiplap the whole bathroom I kind of want to shiplap the whole bathroom so we might do that and then um, we might do flooring before we move in it just depends on how quickly we can move so our original plan was completely paint flooring and redo the bathroom before we move in and then we want to do shiplap in multiple different places we want to replace light fixtures we want to paint the kitchen cabinets do a new kitchen like farmhouse sink um but those are things that i don't think we'll get to before we move in we only have 30 days before we have to be out of our current house so our biggest thing is just kind of like getting the big stuff accomplished like painting and possibly flooring before we move in so that we don't have to work around all of our stuff we don't have to work around a baby and um yeah so we'll see how far we get but i am going to get off right here so i can finish driving and stop and get some gas and I will see you at closing and then I will show you around the house. Hopefully it's not raining by then. Of course, Michigan decided it should rain again today. So it's kind of yucky weather, but I'm excited to show you guys, show you our plans. And this weekend we plan on getting in there and tearing things apart. So I'm gonna vlog this weekend too, but I will see you this afternoon. Okay, good morning. It is actually a couple days later. We closed on Wednesday and it is Friday morning. Um, I made it to the closing after my OB appointment. Everything went well. And then we came to the house and our parents came here and Jackson was here and it was raining and it was just a gross night so I didn't get to film then. And then I actually came, I heard something. <laughs> And then I actually came the next morning because I had to meet the well people here. And Jackson was being far too crazy for me to be able to film. So we're here again Friday morning and I'm attempting to do this, but I also have Jackson with me again. So bear with me and I might not talk a lot at the moment, but maybe I can fill you in later. I just want to get through this house tour without him fussing and screaming the whole entire time. So. He is, I have the gate up so he can't get down the stairs. And 
Um, he's supposed to be watching tractors on my phone, but right now he's just running back and forth with my phone. So we will see. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain to you what we're doing um, renovation-wise before we move in as well and, and while we're here. And we have some supplies already that we went and picked up last night, so you'll see those. But this is the entryway when you first walk in. Those stairs go down to the basement. The basement is nothing special. It is just an older basement. It is in pretty good condition. Um, we just plan on painting, putting up can lights, doing shelves, doing a really nice storage area down there. There's this honestly ugly little built-in right here, but I don't really want to have to worry about taking it out at the moment. So everything in here is getting painted white. Um, this ugly green trim is getting painted white. All the walls are getting painted white. All that's getting painted white, 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 white. Um, the rail, this railing here, and then we actually have to build a railing coming down the stairs. I want it to be black. And then this wall, this lovely little mural wall, is going to be white shiplap. And then I'll put a couple pictures up there. I kind of want to do like a council table right there as you enter the room. And I think I'm going to refinish this seat with a new fabric for now. And then this is tile. It's really not in bad shape, but it's ugly. So I think I'm gonna take a crack at painting it, maybe like a darker gray and then put a nice big rug right here. This is when you first walk in. Um, the ceiling is like actually a pretty wood, so we're gonna leave it, but we are gonna change out that ugly chandelier. So then you walk in, you walk up, the skate obviously is here for protection for my child. What did you poop? Did you poop? <laughs> um, okay, so this is technically like the first little living area of this house. Not very big, guys. It's 1,200 square feet, but it is bigger than the one we're in, and it's a lot more open concept, so I think we're going to be happy with it. Um, so we're actually going to put our dining area like right here. There is like a little dining room back off the kitchen, but we want to make that into the playroom. So we're going to put the dining area right here. We are going to put can lights in because there's no lights in this room. And then all the walls will be painted white and all the trim is getting replaced. I know, Mommy, we'll check you in just a minute, okay? Um, and then we are replacing the floors as well. You'll see that they have a flooring through here, which actually does not look very old. They have a flooring, like a, um, what is that called? linoleum through the kitchen and dining room. They have a linoleum in the bathroom. They have like a different kind of vinyl in the bedroom and on the carpet in another bedroom. So we wanna do just a, like a light. Yeah, are you watching Bub Bubs? We wanna do just a light oak flooring through the whole entire thing. But I don't know that we'll be able to get to that before we move in. So we might just do the bedrooms and then move in and then pick away at the rest of the house. So. This room specifically, like I said, we are just painting the walls white, doing new trim, putting in can lights, and then this will be a little eating area over here. And then eventually I really want to take out this wall. I think this wall is like incredibly pointless and I'm sure it's not a supporting wall and if it is, we can just put a beam in up top. We've done that before. So then this walks into the living room. Just a nice big living room and it has a slider that walks out onto the porch. So this will be, again, we'll change out the flooring eventually. All the walls are getting painted white. Trim is getting replaced. We are replacing that. Would you, you don't want it right now, baby? Oh, you need some help. Okay, here you go. Um, that was over here for now to see if he wants to come back. So we're replacing that. I did get some gold fixtures. I think we're gonna put one there and then one in each bedroom, but we have to see if we like them first. And then this nice ugly wall, um, I think that's real wallpaper. And if you know anything about real wallpaper, it is horrible to take off. So we're just going over it with shiplap because I don't wanna rent a steamer. I don't wanna have to pull it all off. So we're going over all that with shiplap and then we'll mount our TV right there and call it a day. So that's what we're doing in here. This will be the boys' room, this will be our room, and that's honestly the only two rooms in the house. So like I said, it's a small house. Um, so this is the boys' room. I don't know if we're gonna replace the doors. We might just 
paint them and call it good. And then we want to get new black doorknobs. I don't necessarily like this style of knob because Jackson can open them. And right now he can't open regular handle doors, but eventually he'll be able to open all of them. I realize that. So again, totally different floor in there. It's not bad, but we want to just replace it and do all the same floors through the whole house, especially because it's not a very big house. And then this room will just be getting painted white and it will be getting new white trim and we'll be putting a new fixture up. And I think that's pretty much it. It looks really small, but it's just narrow and super long. And then there's a closet over there. I'll probably just paint the closet door for now. But yeah, like I said, it looks really small, but it's like super long and narrow. So it's really not that bad once you're in here. And then over here to our room, this is the front porch. I do like having a covered front porch um, and I like the sliding doors, but it definitely needs some work. So for now, we're just gonna power wash it all. We're gonna paint it. And then I think we're actually gonna paint the siding because it's in pretty good condition and paint the shutters for now until we can afford to completely uh, reside the house. And then outside just needs so much TLC as far as bushes needing pulled out, trees needing pulled out, the yard needing mowed, like there's just a lot of labor intensive stuff to do out there, but not necessarily money. So that will just take a while. Um, so this is our room. Again, carpet's getting pulled up, new flooring getting put in. We're gonna paint everything white, surprise, surprise. I will probably just paint the door white, put a new handle on, new light fixture, because this one is the worst. I can't see, yeah, I can't see anything in here. Um, new trim, and then it just kind of walks around here and kind of L's, and there's a closet. Probably, I don't know if I'll replace those doors. I'll probably just replace those doors or just do an open concept closet because they're kind of ugly. This lovely bed came with the house. Ew. So we'll have to be getting rid of that. And I honestly don't know what this is. This must be a TV cable, which we don't ever have TV. So we'll pull that out as well. So then you walk this way, back through the living room, back through the dining room, boys in the bathroom, and this is the kitchen. So I do like the kitchen a lot better than what I have right now because it's so much bigger. Um, but again, flooring is getting pulled out and replaced. This is getting completely taken out. So to me, that's just kind of pointless because it just really closes up the space. And if it was gone, it would just feel so much better. It is a little bit tricky because the light switch that runs the lights in here and the lights in there is right there. So we might have to try to figure that one out, thanks. And sorry, honey. Um, but that to me is just really pointless. So we're gonna take that out. I think for now we're gonna keep the countertops. They're honestly not bad. They're not like anything special, but they're in good shape. Um, and then we're just going to paint the cupboards. I'll put up a little inspiration picture, but I wanna do like a green, um, like fine green color. And then we're gonna replace all the handles with black poles. I would love to do a new kitchen sink. I want to do a big, deep white farmhouse sink. Um, but I don't know if it's worth doing right now when we plan on pulling all the countertops up and doing butcher block someday. So I think we might just wait. This is honestly in really good shape. It just needs cleaned. And then we did pick up a new black handle last night that was on sale at, it's actually right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it was on sale for $100 off. So we did pick that up. So we'll be replacing that. Probably just leaving the sink for now painting the cupboards, doing new handles, probably just leaving the countertops for now. We want to do can lights in the kitchen as well. So we'll have to take that out, patch the ceiling, put in can lights. And then that room, like I said, will be can lights. I just really like can lights. They make everything so much brighter and nicer. Um, and then we'll bring our appliances in. Yes. No, 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 no. You know better than that, Toots. That's Aki. Not that I was planning on showing you the bathroom right now, but my child is into something he's not supposed to be in. Okay, so then this just walks back, just drops down a little bit, and this is like a little dining room. And then it walks out the back patio. 
But this I think we're gonna use as the boys' playroom. Um, I know it's kind of strange, but once this is gone, it'll be so open concept, and then I'll be able to cook in the kitchen with the boys just playing. And this is like just out of the way, and it's not the first thing you see when you walk in the door. So if the toys are messy, it's not as big of a deal. So that's my plan there. Um, we are just painting, doing new trim, doing a new light fixture, putting new flooring in, and then I just need to clean up this gross door, put trim up, paint the door, do a new door handle, all that lovely stuff. So the last thing to see is the bathroom. So, <laughs> love the flooring, just kidding. We're putting new flooring in. I actually think I'm just going to do peel and stick tile. I know that I've heard it doesn't necessarily work the best, but it's honestly really cheap. So we're just gonna try our hand at it um, because Levi doesn't wanna tile it because it's more work and more time. So we're gonna try that. We're leaving the toilet because it seems to be in decent condition. We are leaving the vanity, but I am going to paint that the same green to match the kitchen and put new handles on it. And then we're going to replace the top with just a white top and then replace the faucet with a black faucet. And then we'll be replacing the mirror with just a circle black mirror. We did get new light fixtures for those. They're like hanging black ones, they're super cute. And then we got one for over there, a three one to match. That will be getting taken out, a new one put in. And then the whole bathroom, I don't know if I said this, but surprise, surprise, the whole bathroom would be painted white. And we're ripping this whole tub out and we're just gonna put a tub base in and then we have someone that's gonna come and do white subway tile walls. And we're gonna do all black fixtures or whatever those are called, faucets and stuff down the side. Okay, what do you say? Can you say mama? Mama! Please. Thank you. Mommy help you, I'm almost done, okay. So yeah, like I was saying, this will just be new shower base. This will be white subway tile, all black down there. A nice cute curtain. And then this is actually our laundry room as well. So we're doing white shiplap down the back of that wall with the new hanging black fixture there. Um, we did pick up a used but nice condition washer and dryer off of Marketplace. And then all this will just, these are all built-ins. The lovely thing about an old house. This will all just be getting painted white and we'll be putting new handles on those. It's actually not bad though because we need the storage, so I don't mind it. This door, I think we're just gonna replace this door honestly because it's like hollow junk and it's just one door. And then we'll put a new handle on there. So yeah, paint, shiplap, paint. I almost ran into the wall. Um, countertop tub, tile. This is probably one of the biggest jobs and we have to get this done before we move in because uh, it's our only bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah. Yeah. that's it guys, that's the house. Um, I'm excited to bring you guys along for the renovation process. We're starting this weekend, it is Friday. That is all the ship lab we picked up. We have a big giant thing of kills, a big giant thing of white paint, paint supplies. Um, it does smell really bad, like cigarette smoke in here, so we're gonna kill everything, get all the smell out. Like I said, this is the faucet we picked up for the kitchen. And then this is the um, cute gold fixture I picked for the bedrooms, and that will probably end up going in the living room and the entryway as well. And then what's over here? Oh, these are the bathroom. That will be on each side of the mirror in the bathroom. And then this, hold on. Hold on, no need to fuss. This will be the one that goes over the laundry area. And it will be shiplap like that, so. That is everything. Here you go, Tip. All right, well we need to shut it off anyways because we're gonna get going. Can you say bye-bye? <laughs> okay. So, that is everything. And then we do have an outside, I'll just do like a quick I'm not gonna talk about it probably, but um, yeah, you say bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
We do have a lot of buildings. We have a big giant red barn outside. We have a big giant pole barn. We have another small little building. So that was like the selling point on this house. Plus there's a couple acres. And plus our property is literally right around the corner. So that is why we really wanted this house. Um, we just have so much storage outside. We have a big yard for the kids. We have access to our property right here. So we can literally drive our golf, golf cart right around the corner to another 20 acres, um, which Levi's farming currently, and then we can use for the dog, the wild boys. Yeah, so that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll do a quick cap outside for you guys to see and come along for the process because we're starting this weekend. I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. Um, nothing expensive, guys. We're trying to do this all on a budget, so. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.